Bregan Disaster Risk Manager Moji Ajayi, who joins me now for more on this conversation. It appears we are in between um, the devil and the deep blue sea. On one hand, there is a need to check the spread of the virus by restricting movement. On the other side, people are saying the hustle must continue for them to be able to put food on their table. How do you react to this? Well, I, I think a total lockdown is very paramount that can help to mitigate this pandemic from becoming a disaster. So far, the lockdown has not been very, very effective. And this is because people are not complying to it because people are hungry and people are insisting on coming out. So I think the government should emboss um, people. They should get through, to them through their local governments and get to the grassroots so that they can give them money or food stuff that will last them for two weeks. We need another two weeks lockdown and we need appropriate sanctions for those who will violate the um, lockdown. There is social distancing and is the, is the key to um, ending the coronavirus. So I don't know if you've been following efforts of government and other individuals getting this respite and palliative you have mentioned to the people who need them. You find yeah. out that the measures that are being preached, issues like social distancing, are not being observed. So people are in a crowded place. Uh, they are, you know, scampering for resources that appear to be limited. How do you think that can be fixed? Before you tell people to stay indoors, you have to provide what will make them to stay indoors. Because someone who is hungry will definitely come out to look for food to eat. So if the government can get to people, especially people in the grassroots level, they are the ones that have refused to um, observe the social distancing. So when these people are provided with enough of what they need and they're inside the house, they will obey the social distancing. And they, uh, when, when the government has given them what they need, then they will not um, enact appropriate sanctions that will make them stay at home and if they come out they will make draconian laws and they say if you come out so and so will happen to you they can even have designated quarantine centers that if you're caught outside after you've been after being provided with what you need to stay indoors they will take you to these designated quarantine centers to keep you there until the two weeks lockdown is over but you can't tell people not to come out when you have not given them food to eat because they are hungry they must come out to eat so i understand your point but my question is how do you get these resources over to the people uh, there are lots of um palliatives being distributed the president recently increased the social register from 2.6 to 3.6 million but the word on yes. the street is not everybody who needs it gets it yes that's it because we have different tiers of government we have the state we have we have the federal state and the local government so the local government chairman this is why they are local government chairman they should be able to make the um um all the government is giving to get to the grassroots, to get to those who need it. That's why they are local government chairmen. They, they know all the people. When they, are, when they are campaigning, they know where to go to. They know all the people in their world. So at this time, the, uh, of, where we're trying to mitigate this pandemic from becoming a disaster, they should be able to reach out to these people. We should go to them through their local government chairmen. We should stop using states. Um, the, the state to try to get to very poor people. We need to get to them through district heads, local government chairmen, um, traditional and religious rulers. That's how to get to the lowest uh, people in the society and to get all, to ensure that this gets to them. And it doesn't just stay at a particular level where people will confiscate them and use them to make more money later. So palliative is just one thing. The issue of um, rejigging the economy is another thing entirely. Uh, the fact yes. that the oil that we all have depended on for many years, the global oil price is falling sharply. And there are people who are saying that Nigeria as a developing country might not be able to survive an extended lockdown. How do you react to that? This is where disaster risk managers come in. Now, the Nigerian government is not trying to involve disaster risk managers in this because there's something called, known as a post-disaster need assessment. And that's what disaster need manager needs to be working on right now. They, because definitely there will be, uh, a lot of sectors are not working. So the um, GDPs are dropping. Oil prices are um, um, getting high. So we need the disaster risk manager to do a post-disaster need assessment to know how to bring back the society better immediately after the lockdown. So we need people in various sectors in the disaster, as disaster risk managers or to sort out this matter. Mojia Jai, thank you for talking yes. to us on TVC News at 7.